Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you how eating protein can make weight loss a lot easier, a lot more successful and a lot more sustainable long term so you can lose fat and you can keep it off for the rest of your life. Oh yeah! And truth be told, a lot of mums are under eating protein so they're not getting the full benefits of it and they're struggling to lose weight. Let me explain something to you. You've heard of low, ca uh, low carb diets, you've heard of low fat diets. But you've never heard of a low pr protein diet. So why is that? Why have you never heard of a low protein diet? Because the research is clear. And most health professionals agree that protein is important for your health and it's important for weight loss. And if you start lowering the amount of protein you eat, it has detrimental benefits to your body, to your health, and to your weight loss. And that's why protein is so important. So in this video, I'm going to talk about it more from a weight loss point of view than a health point of view, but we will touch a little bit on the health side of it. So why is protein so beneficial for weight loss? Well, with my clients, it keeps them fuller for longer. So they eat less, they feel the need to eat less, which means they can get into that calorie deficit a lot easier and stay there so they can lose weight long term. The second thing it does is it helps to reduce cravings, all right? So if you're not craving as much food, once again, you're going to eat less. It's going to make it easier to get into that calorie deficit and stay there so you can lose weight long term. The other benefits to eating protein is it helps you keep and build lean muscle. Now, lean muscle is what's called an active tissue, so it's really important for your metabolism. And the more lean muscle you have, the more fat you're burning on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're not eating enough protein, research is showing that you're actually going to lose muscle. And as you age, your metabolism is going to go down and it's going to be easier to put on weight, easier to put on fat. Okay, you're also going to get weaker and less independent. So they're the reasons that we really want to focus on protein. It helps you get into that calorie deficit, it helps you burn more fat by increasing your metabolism. So they're the things you need to think about. Now how much protein should you be eating and what the hell is protein? Okay, just quickly, protein based foods are foods that are higher in protein than anything else. Right, a quick Google search uh, will give you a whole list of different foods, but things we're talking about here are meat products, we're talking about fish, some seafood products, we're talking about some yogurts, um, eggs technically falls into that category, we're talking about um, soya-based products for um, vegans or vegetarians, people like that, and we're also talking about um, man-made products like protein powders, protein bars, and all that. If you're, if you're a bit confused, I'm happy to help you out, just put a comment below, or just do a quick Google search. Make sure though you say protein-based foods, not foods with protein, because you can get foods that have other things in them that also have protein. They're not the types of food we're talking about, we're talking about foods that are primarily protein. So how much of those types of foods should you be having? Well, the research is pretty clear. People tend to opt for more than less. I tell my clients to aim for 1.5 grams of protein per their body weight in kg. Now that's just a rule of thumb, and it can change depending on the person, their circumstance, and their situation. Typically, if you're doing a lot of uh, exercise that involves a lot of muscular work, then you're gonna need more protein. And if you're not eating this amount of protein right now, you're gonna struggle to eat that amount daily, so build up to it, work into it, right? So here's some tips how to do that. Now the first thing to do that is when you're having a serving of protein-based food, have a bigger serving, right? If you're having some meat, just increase the amount of meat you're having. And then add to your day some protein supplements like a protein bar or a protein shake. And that's instantly going to get your protein up there. And then just start improving it day by day as you can, as you see fit. If you're exercising, then you're definitely need to, going to need to get the protein up there. And at the minimum, you want 0.8 grams of protein per a body weight in case jeans. All right, and that's because you need at least that much to keep the muscle you got so that when you age, you're not going to lose it and your metabolism is going to get hurt and then you're also going to get weaker and all that sort of stuff. So let's just give you the quick mass. If you're a 70 kg person, right, and you need 1.5 grams of protein, you want to aim for 105 grams of protein. Now, weight, a moment of confusion for some people is some people think the weight of the food is the amount of protein they're getting. That is incorrect. For example, 100 grams of chicken may give you 27 grams of protein, depending on the cut and all those sort of things. 
all right? So just be mindful of that. And the only way to figure out how much protein you're having, I'm sorry, is you kind of need to learn how much protein is in things. You just need to estimate. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Like one steak, one medium steak, for instance, could have about 30 grams of protein, right? And then you just roll with that, right? One medium chicken breast could have 27 grams of protein. You just roll with that. A scoop of protein powder has about 24 grams of protein. So you just roll with that, right? We're not aiming for perfection. We're not aiming for exact. We're aiming for consistency, and if you consistently keep using those same numbers, you're going to notice an improvement. All right, so I hope that answers your question, and now you're going, okay, I need protein, I need protein. So go out there, get a list of protein-based foods that you like, add them to your day, follow the tips I gave you earlier, and you'll be successful. If you need anything, please let me know in the comments. My um, details are down there below as well, and make sure you subscribe so that you can get more free information like this to help you lose weight. That's what I'm here to do. You've got this. Let's go.